FIFA 20, the best defensive formation and custom tactics to help you see out those foot champs games. My name is Brabzy, and if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and join the squad now. Let's do this. Okay, squad, this is a heavily requested video, but an important message for you before we get into this. Please, for the benefit of the community, no one wants to play against someone playing ultra defensively all the way through. This is purely just to help you see games out if you're in the final 10 minutes and you're happy with the scoreline. So please treat it with the respect that I ask of you and don't use it all the way through the matches. Seriously, I will go into a corner and exude tears of regret if you do this. So please don't. I'm asking you nicely. Okay, so I've gone and stuck this little number in ultra defensive. We're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 narrow formation for this. Very good versatile formation. However, for this particular one, it's going to be super defensive. Into the tactics. Okay, this is where the filth factory begins. Defensive style, we want to turn this to drop back. Boo! Boo! Width, you want to go ahead and turn that to 1. I hate it, but it's really effective. Depth, we're going down to 1. Nah, as much as I hate doing it, my job is to help you win games and get better at the game. Until EA fixes drop back and the 1 depth, man, everyone uses it in champs. Just go ahead and use it responsibly. Offensive style, leave that as balanced. That's perfectly all right where it is. Width on the attack, we want it just to be in the middle, so it's quite a balanced formation. Players in the box, leave it on the middle. Doesn't really matter, because the instructions are what's going to count. Corners and free kicks, leave it to. Not going to be committing many people forward, because it's the final stages of the game. And now, for the instructions. Need a little sippy of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so instructions, the way it's going to work is you're going to have four players still committing to the attack while the other six will stay back to make sure that you don't get counter-attacked at all. So your striker, we want the classic stay central, get in behind and stay forward. This will allow them to hold the ball up still to still make those runs in behind because we don't just want to be camped in our own half. You still do want to get forward when the opportunity arises. Now, so that striker is not isolated, what we need to do is go to the cam, the central player, and stick them on stay forward as well. Free roam, and leave the other two on balance crossing and normal interceptions. For the left and the right attacking midfielders, you want those on comeback on defence, so that they help out when you don't have possession of the ball. Stick to position rather than free roam on this one, because we want them to be quite disciplined in their formation. Balanced crossing runs, normal interceptions. Same for the other one. Now this is where we make it really solid. So we've got two different instructions for our CDMs. So in my team, I've got William Carvalho, who's um, very strong, quite fast. So basically, whichever of your defensive midfielders are quite big, quite physical, set as this one. So we want them on balanced defense, drop between defenders so they will essentially become a fifth defender so like they'll literally sit in between the two center backs at times when you're defending and important one as always cover center now for your other central midfielder if you've got one that is less physical or better at passing the ball stick these on stay back while attacking balance defense again aggressive interceptions we want them breaking up the play in the middle and again, cover center just so they stay in the center of the pitch and they're not going too far wide. Now for your left and right back, finally, it goes without saying we want those on stay back while attacking, normal interceptions and mixed attack for the run type. That doesn't really matter in this formation too much. Okay, so quickly, the pros of this formation is that it is super, super defensive. Your players will sit in and around your penalty area. Whatever your opponent tries to do to get into the box, get in behind, or have shots, your players will just block them, intercept them, tackle them. It will be extremely hard to break yourself down. The negatives are that in the attack, you will literally just have 
these four players committing to attack. So the important thing is to hold the ball up with your striker while you're waiting for the other three midfielders to go up the pitch. And from there, their runs won't be too advanced. You're going to need to do it all on your own. So get a little bit creative in your attack. But ultimately, you're doing this to shore up your defence at the end of the game. So we won't be attacking too much with it anyway. Okay, match time. For demonstration purposes, I hit this formation in around the 15th minute mark just to show you how effective it is. If you're out there, the person that I was playing against, I apologise for this. Please forgive me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Even when your opponent has fast players looking to run in behind, this formation protects you from counter-attacks. At the beginning of this demonstration, I started with an attacking 4-4-2, leaving very few players back, just relying on my own reading and interceptions. From there, I was able to use this formation to establish an early lead. Near post finesses for the win. Straight after this, I've now hit into the ultra defensive tactic we've set up to demonstrate how it works. After making this change, your players will now crowd your own half, leaving your opponent very little options to attack with. Due to the way this formation is set up, you won't be able to counter attack your opponent, so when in possession, it relies on you using slow, patient build up. Here's the four players that will attack for you. Don't hit the crossbar when you shoot or your player will pick up a booking. When you lose possession, your defence will drop back towards the penalty area whilst you can use your two midfielders to try and block off passes in the middle. Due to lack of options, your opponent will usually only be able to perform long shots. By primarily using the two midfielders to win the ball back, you can quickly distribute the ball to the wide areas to start your attacks. Just remember attacking runs are limited, so you'll need to use your own creativity to score. Holding the ball up with that striker is key to allow time for your midfielders to catch up and support. You'll usually find space out wide to be able to create opportunities. Just to demonstrate, you can see here at half time our opponent had very few shots. You now understand the basics of this formation, use your midfielders to press and your defence will sit on the edge of the box and block off any passes or shots. Bonus tip, on the hour mark of any game, substitute your tired attackers for a fast replacement who can run at their tired defence. Look no further than Frank Achimpong. Pop 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 pace pace pop pop pace 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 A chimpong Warning Rage quit in 5 4 3 2 1 See ya Thanks for watching this video guys, hope it helps you squeeze a few more wins out. As always, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to see next. Till next time, have yourselves a great day.